Hi everyone, welcome to the Bride Guide 101 with Gemma and Jay to hear. Just, just before, she was like, shall I start? And I was like, I don't feel like you should today. Do you know? That's why. <laughs> I've said to hear before, hear from <laughs> Ned in Deshaw, the wedding room in Kidderminster, Worcestershire. So next time, Jem's going to do the opening. <laughs> Let's leave it to me. Okay, you go, Jem. So today we're coming to tell you all about reordering a wedding dress um, because I think because we do it all the time we've assumed that everybody knows but we get a lot of questions that we would think that ladies would know and there's no reason is there? it's just because we know it it's so yeah. well and the important thing is what is a reordered dress because yeah. it's a term that is thrown around a lot and people do say to us what do you mean so a reordered dress is essentially you might wonder why Jem's got a wedding dress on just because I can. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? But say this is a dress by Sincerity by Justin Alexander. So if Gemma comes into an appointment, I mean, she's in love. What we a dress. all it's sad. It's our thing. What a dress, lady. I mean, side note. Oh, I've, okay. <laughs> so Gemma has come into here. She has decided this is her dress. She's getting married in. She said yes. We're all very excited. We're happy because gorgeous and she looks great but this is a real dress this isn't the dress Gemma's going to have this is a try on dress so it's a sample dress so when we say reorder is you order from that sample so that's what it means in fact you're buying um a dress that's going to be made for you so this one that you try i mean this fits me quite well to be fair doesn't it but when you try it on um, or different dresses the one you choose in in any given shop may not fit you it might be too yeah. small too big it does it's irrelevant because yeah. they're going to measure you and order you a better one so or better sized one so it, it really doesn't matter if this one fits as long as you can tell what it looks like yeah. so the process of reorders what we want to look at today and give you a few insights because again as Gemma said there's so many things we're throwing around you just assume you know but actually if it's your first um dress wedding try on <sighs> I mean <laughs> there it is. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> so, you decide what goes on. <laughs> Basically, I have a tactic of words. If I don't know what I'm saying, just keep throwing <laughs> more into a sentence and then eventually you get what I mean. Um, but this is today, we're going to talk for the dress journey of when you said yes, the dress, what it takes, time scales. So, Gemma has just said yes, this is her dress. So, this is stage one. I've picked my dress. It's the most important, number one. So the next stage is a measure. So we're, Gem's gonna put her normal clothes back on now and I'm going to show you what we do when we take your measurements to order you the best dress sample size. It's well done. <laughs> that could have been one. It's gonna be one. <laughs> My brain, <laughs> just done <it. laughs> My brain went in slow motion then. It's like, come on, can we got it. it. hear it, mate. <laughs> so Gem's gonna get dressed so we can concentrate because I just keep looking at the prettiness of it. So yeah. we'll get changed and we'll show you what it's like now when we, we you know. Right then, so up next we've got Gemma back in her normal clothes and we're going to take her measurements now and that's not the same. It's not the same. And I'd say generally, if you've got a really, th side note, if you've got a really thick jumper on your bridal, we might ask you to take it off because they'll add an extra inches. So when we this look... This is just a thin. Yes. And Gemma. Imagine Gemma being in a bra now. <laughs> <laughs> we've all been there before. <laughs> if you've watched the last video. <laughs> she likes to get a bra around. <laughs> So we take a first waist and hip measurement and we also do a floor to nape measurement which should make sure the length of the dress is suitable for you. Now depending on your floor to nape measurement we might discuss shoe length because if you are particularly tall and you still want to wear heels there might be um, an issue with it being too small so we'll discuss what you think you might wear shoe wise but it's not, <coughs> not for most women. Thank you, Gemma. I mean, this is why she's here. I, know, she I had a little really tickle in my throat. Yeah, Jay's <laughs> getting lots of words mumbled again. For most women, these dresses are all going to be too long. Yeah. I think we've only ever ordered one where we've had to put extra length on. So, you know, unless you're going to wear five inch heels, which most women are just going to wear a reasonable, comfortable yeah. heel, but it will it's be, never going to be an issue. Yeah, and it will be discussed, and yeah. not to worry. So, my point was don't worry about bringing shoes to your bridal no. appointment because they aren't necessarily needed. And um, that might be something you definitely, if you've seen dress, we'll get to that later. So, yeah. just to give you an idea of what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take Gem's first measurement. This is going to be depressing. <laughs> <laughs> You're then, a boy! <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to take a waist measurement. Everyone side side note, yeah, we always do it twice. Like, because if you get a tape measure near somebody, you automatically go... <gasps> So you got to just breathe out and relax because yeah. that's how that dress needs to and fit. And we take two measurements yeah. just to recheck everything. And then we're going to do a hip measurement. And then, like I said, her floor swallow. Let's jump straight ahead and do her floor 
to make measurement to make sure we've got the length of the dress. They will be rechecked. Now, then what happens, we go to our designer size charts because like most high street shops, the designer size charts are different. So we would look at your bust, waist and hip measurement and then decide what the best dress size to order is. Oh, but I think, because like, I've already looked at my measurements, so I know that on a wedding dress, I come up a 10, 14, 14. So obviously, I can't order a 10 because it's not going to fit here. So we would then order a 14, and then all of this would get taken in from the seamstress side of the... Oh, no. It's like, I love it. <laughs> you just feel Stop like... touching yourself. Stop <laughs> touching your face. <laughs> but all of this would get taken in so it fit correctly at the top. Obviously, you want to order so that your largest part, and that doesn't matter which part it is, fits, yeah. and then the rest of it gets taken in. Because essentially, no woman is the perfect sample right. size. We're all different shapes, everyone's different, so that's the, you know, with, you know. <laughs> I, I think I need more coffee. I think, yeah, next time I'm gonna go, right, there's a chocolate bar. I actually. A glass of Prosecco. <laughs> And some coffee. I've got a good point to make. <laughs> to be honest, Listen, have you got, got a really good point to okay, make? Go um, high street clothes are mass produced <laughs> to fit everybody. So look at this dress I'm wearing. It's stretchy. Yeah. And this will fit people. Um, bridal dresses aren't like that. They're structured. The fabrics are different. But that's why wedding dresses are amazing and why they make everyone feel amazing. So that's why the alteration is such an important process with your wedding dress to make it fit you perfectly. This structures won't allow it to be mass produced for everybody. So that's why um, we do your measurements to order the best dress size. And that is fact. That's done. Yes. Boom. <laughs> Can I sit down now, Gemma? <laughs> I mean, what I would say as well is, is if you're in between sizes, then we would always go larger as well. Yeah. Um, sometimes the bride might want to lose weight, but for us, we'd still rather order it as it is, and then you get it taken it's in. It's very much on the case by case scenario, yeah. isn't it? And that's when we sit and just. I mean, if you're literally it. like a, a you know half an inch out, and someone wants to lose a stone, and, and they're on it, and they're, that's what they want, then as long as that's discussed at the appointment, then yeah. we might go down. If you're like three inches out, you know, if you lose weight, it might not come off that area. Yeah, everyone's so you, different. You know, everyone's different. Aren't and that's they? what we're here to help you through that process. Yeah. So talk you through it really yeah um so then once your order has been placed the designer we're talking about looking at my list <laughs> <laughs> hang on a minute what is next <laughs> well you would then pay a deposit yeah so that's like you know obviously we don't need to talk to you about that really other than the fact that at our bridal shop it's 50 percent deposit so you put your 50 percent down and then the dress gets ordered and then it goes to delivery time so basically you don't have your dress then for a period of time to whatever that designer takes to um, make the dress so at the moment for us that's anywhere from five to seven months depending on the designer that you have so this is why you're asked to come in and pick your dress around 12 months before to give yourself plenty of time yes um, because on that in. you've then got your alteration time so mm -hmm. so Gemma's ordered that beautiful dress I've taken her measurements she's given me 50% of her deposit and um, the dress has now been ordered we'll say seven months we always like to give more time that's needed. So seven months later, I call Gemma. I'm very excited because I get to see you in a dress again. And I'm very excited. You are. So we've got- I'm the getting married. <laughs> to come up with a girl. So Gemma will come in and here at the wedding rooms, we love an accessory point at this time. So this is where Gemma will try her dress on. It might feel better, fit better because in a previous appointment the dress might be a size too small or a size too big so this way Jim put her dress on that's arrived and we can play around with accessories we can look think about how she wants her hair now she digested her dress a little bit more and this is my favorite appointment well, never this appointment I, do. I love an accessory appointment you know you I like it, it. But you like love it You're I steal weird, Gemma's bride yeah. really I always say you're mine now <laughs> get some accessories for me um, so this is where we try veils on we can talk um, hair vines tiaras we can really play around with it a little bit more and it's something to look forward to as well and a lot of women I'll like, get this stage you obviously know your dress you know what back and front you're going to have to your dress you might have an idea of what jewellery you want to bring some women might bring shoes at this stage mm -hmm. so although your dress isn't going to fit because it is still a standard size it means that you're able to see the whole look yeah. coming together now like, and you've had more time to digest it and what a lot of women will do is yeah i tell you now <laughs> is they will have um a hair what's the trial hair oh, trial i wasn't gonna help her yeah. just hair. it's your turn now to yeah. say <laughs> they'll have a hair trial before so that they've got a rough idea of what it's going to look like yeah. and then obviously they can try their dress on as well so it's it's all 
it, it's like take it, using the opportunity really while you're mm. here for an hour and a half to have a little play and order your accessories and obviously that's when the first time you get to see your dress and, and obviously part of that is making sure that your dress is correct yes. if you've made design changes to it um, I mean going back on that slightly as well when you, we do the measurements and things obviously if you're having sleeves and things there are measurements that will be taken for those bits um, and any design changes at that point so if you've got where, you know you've seen a strapless dress like the last one and I want some straps added at that point obviously um, when we order it we would do the measurements for that and order it with those correct things or if you change any colour or anything like that yeah. and this is where when you come back and at this point you're checking all those things yeah. are as you want them to be exactly and then ordering an accessory like, and then paying the balance of the dress and then from that point again people do ask us shall I bring my shoes don't worry about your shoes, your shoes will be necessary at the next stage of it, which is when you take your dress to the seamstress. She will want to see you in your shoes that you plan on wearing on the day because that's when the hems are taken up and it needs to fit your shoe length to make sure it fits you perfectly. So that's the point. Again, your seamstress will talk that through with you. If there are any underwear you might want to wear because that will be fitted to the underwear as well. Mm -hmm. um, but the seamstress likes to see you about two to three months before your wedding. Again, depending on the time of year and how busy they are. Um, that's worth, that's all we like, that 12 months, seven months your dress arrive, a month to try and get you here. And um, if you're particularly busy, getting you in and then to the seamstress. That's why that 12 months is really vital when you're looking at a reorder bridal dress to make sure you hit all those points on time and you haven't got the stress. Um, obviously, if you haven't got 12 months, there are options. There's rush cuts and there's also the great option of off the peg, which is where it isn't a sample that's ordered in for you. It's a ready to go dress. So there are your options really. And, the, and I think at the seamstress point, that's when you'll probably really see the magic yeah. come together because it's it's going to be the best fitted dress you have ever worn. Yeah. So at that point when it's all pinned and you're moving around and you can feel it, what it's probably you you're all pinned and you're moving around. Oh, I'm moving around, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm moving around. <laughs> you want to move your wedding dress. <laughs> you know, you'll try sitting down, you might put underskirts on. That's really when you see it come together and, and that'll be the exciting part because I do think you can fall in love with the dress in a bridal shop, obviously but you never properly see it until it fits you yeah. like a glove. And that's the point where you're like, oh my God. The, that's the day that everyone sees you, your partner sees you. Yeah. That's the magic of it. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting all emotional. I know. <laughs> I'm <getting married. laughs> yeah. So that is the journey from start to finish. If you've got any questions, just pop them in below. If there's anything you think we've missed or anything that you're worried about, or equally any videos you want us to do, I'll try and do the talking next time. And wearing the dresses. <laughs> oh, I got to wear some dresses this time. I could have just stood in one. I've got my tape measure still. That's all I'm allowed today. <laughs> so, um, if you uh, want to like and subscribe to our channel, that always helps, and we love to hear from you. So, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.